Okay, we're looking at item number eight, the PHET Shapes Lab. Um, you all do not have a hard copy of this unless you have printed it out. Um, I have a hard copy here. Um, I just printed it out. So I'm going to use that and kind of walk you through what you're supposed to be doing with this assignment. Okay, so um, of course, read the introduction. This is very important. This talks about electronegativity. Um, electronegativity is something that we discussed in our unit on the periodic table, how um, the electronegativity um, is the highest for fluorine um, and is low or none at all for the noble gases. Um, electronegativity, of course, is the ability for an atom um, to pull or attract electrons, specifically bonding electrons from another atom. So the atom that does this the best is fluorine. It has a 4.0 on a scale of um, zero to four. And um, the lowest would be um, the opposite corner of the periodic table, which would be um, francium. So when we looked at the trends for the periodic table, um, we know that electronegativity increases from francium all the way up to its highest point at fluorine. And then the noble gases have no electronegativity. They do not want to attract bonding electrons. They already have a stable octet. They are um, golden. They are the Goldilocks um, zone, I guess. Okay, so you're going to be uh, clicking on this link here and I've already got that link pulled up. It looks like this. You're going to click play. When you do, it's going to load the simulator and it might take just a minute for that to load. And then you're um, going to choose the part that says model. And then you can see you've got this here. Now the assignment says that go, you need to go ahead and click the remove all button. So I just clicked that over here and I think you can see where I'm, um, putting my mouse. Let's see. So um, yeah, over here. Um, and then it says click molecular geometry. So go over here where it says name and click molecular geometry. That's the lower left corner. And then under options, uh, you're going to click show bond angles. And that's going to be over here, which is actually right under where we did the remove all. So click show bond angles. Now that you've done that, um, the instructions say fill in table one, um, which is uh, starts at the bottom of that page and then carries on over uh, to the next page. Um, by creating generic models provided in each box, for example, um, a C base two. So this would be an atom that has, or sorry, a molecule that has two different atoms, an A and a C, and there happens to be two C's. Um, so I'm gonna build that for you here. So um, the A is the central purple atom. It's already there, okay? To add a C, I'm going to add a double bonded. Um, if you'll look at the generic key on the sheet, um, C is, um, a double bonded white atom and that is in the upper um, right corner it's this the middle selection there so this would be um, that's AC I need AC2 so I actually need two of those so I need to throw in one more so you just click on it twice um, I clicked on that twice now I have a in the center and then I have the two double bonded atoms um, on the outside. Again, these are called terminal atoms, the ones that are around the outside um, of this entire molecule. Um, it says add bonding atoms and lone pairs of electrons as needed to produce the generic formula provided. Um, once the molecule is assembled, click and drag the model around to spin it for different views. So what you can do here is I can actually click this and move that around. Okay, so I can actually click and drag and you'll see it kind of bounces back into whatever shape it had before. So you can actually move these around to get um, a better view if you need to and definitely do that because you do not have your own three-dimensional models to build. So you're going to be using the simulator instead. Okay, so let's look at 
the first example on your handout, um, it is an A, B, C, E that you're supposed to build. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all. And when I click remove all, that just gets rid of what I had already put up on the screen. But notice my molecular geometry is still there and so are my bond angles. So I'm going to do an A, B, C, E. Well, A is already here, so I just need to take care of a B, a C, and an E. According to this sheet, B would be a single bonded white atom. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click one of those. Then a C is a double bonded white atom. So I'm going to click this one, which is going to add a double bonded white atom. And then I'm going to add an E, which is a lone pair of electrons. Those are right here. Remember, lone pairs are not shared electrons. The shared electrons are in these bonds. The single bond has two electrons, um, and this double bond has four electrons. Okay, so this um, you can see has already been drawn for you on the page. It doesn't I gotta have to spin it around to make it look exactly like that. But you can see I drew it on the page. I showed you where the electrons are, the lone electrons, and I showed a single bond, so a single line, and then two lines for the double bond. Okay. Um, and then I just I did different colors. You may or may not do that. And the next thing we do um, it, after creating that is to go ahead and um, write the molecular geometry down. So for this molecular geometry, in order to know what this would be called, I have to look down here where it says name, molecular geometry. It's telling me that this is a bent molecule. So the name of the shape of this molecule is bent. So I put that right there um, on the line where it says MG is bent. Then beside that, it says octet question um, mark. And that is where I'm answering uh, step four. It says, is the octet rule satisfied on the central atom? Yes or no answer in space provided. So I said yes, that it is met because when I look at this, um, yeah, and I'm trying to use the pen to let me, nope, I can't let me. Um, when I look, Highlight the clicks. Maybe I can do that. No, nope, still not letting me. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Um, so when I look at this, uh, I'm looking at the central atom. I know that there's two electrons here in the lone pair. I know that there's two electrons here in the single bond. And I know that there is uh, two electrons in each of these little bars, but this, this is a double bond. So I know that there is a total of four electrons here. You can think of it like there's two in this line and two in that line, okay? So that's two, four, six, eight, which means we do have the octet satisfied. The only thing we did not do and that's not already on this paper is step three, which says label the bond angles, if any. So what you can do is just looking at the picture, you can label uh, the bond angle there between the double and single bond by either you can draw some kind of a line or whatever indicating and then just write 120 and put your little degree symbol there. So I just did 120 um, and put a little degree symbol there to show that it was labeled, okay? So that's how you're actually gonna work through um, the first part of this packet, completing um, part one with table one, okay?